Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor of Mechanical Engineering, Anjalaya Mal Mahalangam Engineering College, Kovil Vendi. I am happy to meet you again in the video lecture in the subject Thermodynamics in Tamil. This is chapter number 4, Entropy. Uh, first lecture, the topic is Class A's Theorem. So, in the lecture, we are going to discuss two reversible adiabatic path cannot intersect, intersect each other. Number of classes theorem, but the people we introduce a property called entropy. The learning outcome to the students at the end of the lecture, the student will be able to explain classes theorem, describe entropy, explain entropy is a point function and property of the system. Two reversible adiabatic path cannot intersect each other. This is the fundamental theory. The Clausius theorem development of the theory is important. So, there is a cycle, thermodynamic cycle A, B, C, and A. It is written A, B is first process, reversible isothermal. B, C is reversible adiabatic. C, A is again reversible adiabatic. A, B isothermal heat addition. B, C reversible adiabatic expansion. C, A reversible adiabatic compression. So, the AC process, BC process, they are intersecting at the point C. Now, here the reverse adiabatic process BC and AC intersect at C. The area included in the PV diagram, it is net to work done during the cycle. So, we the area under the PV diagram. Area ABC is equal to the net to work done and the cycle in the PV diagram. Area in the PV diagram is the net to work done. Area in the TS diagram is the net heat transfer. But such a cycle is impossible as there is no there is net work output in a cycle by exchanging heat with only one reservoir. So in the process cycle of Patinaka or work expansion work done on the system, work done by the system, C A compression, work done on the system. So there are two work transfer process and only one heat transfer process. So, AB is the reversible isothermal heat addition. So, this is the thermodynamic cycle producing network by exchanging heat with a single reservoir. So, that is it is violating the Kelvin Planck statement. The Kelvin Planck statement is it is impossible in a cyclic process to produce network output by exchanging heat with a single reservoir. So, it is the violating. So, so the intersecting of two adiabatic lines is not possible. So, the intersecting is not possible. So, in the conclusion, in any thermodynamic cycle, future la higher semester, in any thermodynamic cycle, so in any thermodynamic cycle, two reversible adiabatic line cannot intersect. Now, look at the next topic is Clausius theorem. Consider a reversible process IF. So, IF is the curve line. IF is the curve line again in the PV diagram. Using the first law of thermodynamics, the first law for the IF process, QIF equal to UF minus UI plus WIF, heat transfer equal to change in internal energy plus work transfer. So, IF is the process, QIF is the heat transfer, UF is the final internal energy, UI is the initial internal energy and WIF is the work done under the IF. Now, now we up and draw. We are drawing reversible adiabatic lines through I. So, I value or line poro and the reversible adiabatic line. So, B F value again or line poro. B F reversible adiabatic line. I A is the reversible adiabatic line. B F is again reversible adiabatic line. Let the adiabatic line poro. Now, A and B connect poro. So, we locate A and B on the adi reversible adiabatic line. Connect A and B such that the area under IF is equal to area under AB. That is the condition. So, actually the work done by the IF process is equal to work done by the AB process. What is AB process? Reversible isothermal process. Now, listen. For IABF, so now what is the process? IABF. For IABF, Q I A B F heat transfer to, during the process equal to if you look at the diagram 
UF is the final internal energy, IF is the initial internal energy. UF minus UI plus W, work done. W I A B F. So simple heat transfer, simple first law of thermodynamics applied to the line I A B F. Now we have what is the condition for drawing line A B? The condition for drawing line A B equal to work done, work done for the process I A is equal to work done for the process I A B F. So that is the condition. So Q WIA equal to WIABF in the end equation at the Konga. What will happen? Q IF equal to QIABF. Either end cancel either end equal. QIF equal to QIABF. Now we have to write the equation for QIF equal to QIABF. So because UF plus UI is the common. So WIF equal to WIABF number in the condition which is the rala. QIF equal to QIABF. Up a QIF equal to QIABF and unparanga. Q I A plus Q A B plus Q B F. So Q I A plus Q A B plus Q B F. So Q I A, I A is the process, reversible adiabatic process. Heat transfer equal to zero. Q B F, reversible adiabatic process. Heat transfer equal to zero. So Q I A equal to zero. Q B F equal to zero. So Q I A equal to Q A B. So heat transfer for the process. I F equal to heat transfer for the process A B. अपन यानी करुण प्रोसेस है ना मैंने पढ़ने मिलियो और आइसोथर्मल हीट ट्रांसफर प्रोसेस है मात्र मिलियो इधर वंदन द डायग्राम मिलिये अंडरस्टैंडिंग यानी करुण प्रोसेस इन दिच ना का अद वो रिवर्सिबल एडियाबटिक लायना मात्र मिलियो इन बिटवीन रिवर्सिबल एडियाबटिक सर रिवर्सिबल आइसोथर्मल � circle, so unknown process, one circle, PV diagram again. Now we will draw one number of inclined line drop. The number of inclined line is what is the reversible adiabatic. So the cyclic process is the reversible adiabatic process, the number of steps are converted. The first step is the isothermal line drop. So AB is the isothermal line, CD is the isothermal line, BC is the reversible adiabatic line, DA is the reversible adiabatic line. So consider a smooth closed curve representing a reversible cycle and split into number of elemental cycle. For elemental cycle A, B, C, D, we can see that heat transfer del Q1 by D1 equal to T1 equal to del Q2 by T2. So heat transfer for the process divided by the temperature equal to heat transfer during this process divided by the temperature. Del Q1 is the heat addition. Del Q2 is the heat rejection. So, where del Q1 is the heat supplied at a temperature T1 and del Q2 is the heat rejected at temperature T2. Heat supplied is positive and heat rejected is negative. Then, del Q1 by T1 plus del Q2 by T2 equal to 0. So, this become negative. Negative value left side it becomes positive. So, del Q1 plus T1, del Q1 by T1 plus del Q2 by T2 equal to 0. So, the first Carnot cycle ABCD key, number n is equal to del Q1 by T1 plus del Q2 by T2 equal to 0. That is the other cycle. EFGH, that is the other cycle. Del Q3 plus del Q3 by T3 plus del Q4 by T4. So, similarly, we can write the equation for the all the Carnot cycle. Over a strip or a Carnot cycle, we can write the equation for the all the Carnot cycle. Over a strip or a Carnot cycle. எல்லா equation combine மண்ணம் நாக்கா del Q1 by T1 plus del Q2 by T2 plus del Q3 by T3 plus del Q4 by T4 it goes on, it continues equal to 0 and finally for a cyclic integral of a reversible process, reversible cycle cyclic integral of a reversible cycle del Q by T equal to 0 and this is known as Clasius theorem cyclic integral of del Q by T for a reversible process process reversible cycle is equal to zero. So this is known as Clausius theorem. Clausius theorem states that the cyclic integral of del Q by T is equal to zero for a reversible cycle. In the theorem Nyamo Chuno, the equation Nyamo Chuno. Now we take a we define the property entropy. So this is the cycle, thermodynamic cycle in the PV diagram. So there are 
two points initial point final point i is the initial point f is the final point first the system is taken from i lend f using the path r1 so some process using the path r1 some heat transfer process then it is brought back to the original position by a path r2 this is again heat transfer process so in the cycle it is a reversible cycle classes theorem eppadi adala cyclic integral of r1 r2 del q by t equal to 0 so po, r1 r2 rendu process irukku adala enna pandrom cyclic integral of r integral of r1 del q by t plus integral of del q by t for, for the path r2 equal to 0 so r1 ku ena initial final condition f i is the initial condition f is the final condition so i to f r1 del q by t plus f to i f to i del q by t equal to 0 appo rearrange pandrom left first term as it is second term and right side la push panum bodu it become negative negative minus cyclic integral of f to i del q by t ipo we modify the limit left hand side as it is integral i to f del q by t right hand side inge paranga f to i irukku limit the initial initial value initial point is f final value is i na inge direction maatra i to f appo enna hum negative sign will disappear so negative sign eduthidomna ka so integral of i to f del q by t is equal to integral of i to f del q by t for the first term this is r1 path this is the r2 path so in the path la integrate pannalum in the path la integrate pannalum the intro actually the del q by t is constant so since r1 r2 represent two r1 r2 represent two reversible paths i to f del q by t is independent of the path r1 r2 so there exists a property called entropy with the unit joules per kelvin so cycle integral of i to f del q by t equal to sf minus si sf is the final entropy si is the initial entropy r del q by t equal to ds where ds is the exact differential and the entropy is a property function and property of the system the entropy is a point function and property of the system so del q by t equal to ds so there is change in entropy there is a property and it is exact differential so it is a point function and uh, it is a property of the system so entropy per unit mass is called a specific entropy s small s with unit joules per kilogram kelvin so this is the entropy now what is entropy we take few minutes right entropy class in 1865 had discovered the property entropy entropy of a system is a measure of the degree of molecular disorder existing in the system so physically it indicates the degree of molecular disorder or molecular randomness when heat is imparted to the system the disorderly motion of the molecule increases and the property of the system increases when the heat is supplied entropy increases when heat is removed the entropy of the system decreases engineers are concerned with change of entropy and not on the absolute entropy for entropy isentropic process there is no change in the entropy isoentropy that is what isentropy there is no entropy transfer associated with energy transfer as they work entropy is a property it is a point function it is related with the particular process when the heat is supplied entropy increases when the heat is rejected entropy decreases and entropy is a measure of molecular disorder or randomness of a process idha ninga jama vechukonu so we stop here thank you for watching ungalku edha doubt irundhala kana whatsapp number ku message pannunga i will clarify your doubt we will continue with the we we'll continue our discussion on the entropy in the next lecture until then bye